Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have got something new from WPL. So, I've realised I've got it upside down and I realised this is the wrong product number on it. But what we've got is the new D series. So, let's take a little look, why don't we? You may be questioning where I am. I'm not at home currently. I'm actually at work. So, <clears throat> only a few people know I do animal care as a business. So, I'm currently dog sitting for someone. <whistles> Me. Sis. So, say hello to Piff and John T. What's that? What's on the camera? You're on the screen. Yeah, I'm sorry, I wound you up. All right, I'll give you some treats. All right, for being good participants, go get. There you go. So, little distraction over. Like I said, this is the new D12. And this is not actually the box, the outer box it should come in, because normally it's a lot tighter fit. As you can tell, this one's a bit loose at the moment. So, because it's not a really tighter fit, there has been a few issues already reported with the uh, suspension arms on it. So, what we got is the normal black WPL box. And I can see, if I give you a little hint, if I turn around this way, it's, it's a Hilux. So what we've got is a Hilux. Sorry, that's my work phone going off. So this time I don't try and open both ends and then realize why I can't get it open. But if I get it open, there's also another little kind of upgrade so to say the packaging uh, I can tell mine's already mine's had the issue which a lot of other people's has had you can tell by the camber on the front so so this should be rectified soon it's mainly due to the upgrade in packaging. So WPL has decided that they're going to go a little bit more eco-friendly with using cardboard instead of the plastic boxes which they normally, or the plastic wrapping which they normally come in. So similar to like a generic toy, they come now in cardboard with zip ties holding them in. But like I said, the issue currently having is the zip ties which hold the front suspension components in. It's been it's holding onto the suspension arms, which is ripping it out. So don't really care that much about the controller. Well, oh, for just now. So yeah. So all this is hopefully gonna be a little bit more refined when it comes to the public release. As again, this is a pre-production version of it. So let me fix this and we'll continue with the review. And we are back. So I've fixed the suspension. So you may be wondering, what makes this different than the standard D12? Apart from it being a 1 16th scale Hilux, which again, this looks pretty scale for what it is. I think this, I think what I'm planning to do with this one is maybe do it as an escort vehicle. But getting a little bit off topic, what makes this different? This comes as four different versions. And I happen to have one of the other ones here. So there is two versions of each. So what we've got on my right is four wheel drive. What we've got on my left is rear wheel drive. 
So the other two versions, which I don't actually have right now, is basically just a chassis body swap. So you can have the scale looking one as four wheel drive. You could have the off-roady looking one as rear wheel drive. So similar to like a pre-runner setup. And this one could be a farm truck setup. Or in the case of what I want to do with this, I want to make it look like a uh, escort vehicle for wide load lorries. So, enough chit chat. Do you want to have a little look at the four wheel drive frame? So, get them out, get them side by side. You'll notice the chassis look exactly the same. But if I take this one away, this is the four wheel drive one. The only slight disappointment I, or the only slight complaint I have with it is the fact that it is unlocked differentials all the way around. So I can spin this top tire, that rear, that bottom tire spins the opposite way. I can spin the front tire, this side spins the wrong way. Which, so, mm, I'd say it makes, would make a great trail truck, but I think maybe throwing a locked rear axle on the rear would actually make it a lot more capable, leave the front unlocked for steering. I think it is time to remove the body, or remove the frame from the body. So it's the same six screws as a standard D12, which makes you think, will a D12 fit, or will a D12 body fit one of these? Which I know the answer to already, but I don't want to kind of ruin it on camera. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to ruin it just yet. Let me get So, let's take it off then. It gets a little bit stuck up at the front. So with the body off, we can actually see it's a new chassis layout. So the servo is now front mounted. It used to sit in between the board and the motor. And this is something cool. I do not know if it's just for pre-productions and I'm hoping it is for everyone. But the gearbox, the gearbox is see-through. So you've got a clear, this is kind of hard. I've no, I normally do stand behind the camera and film. So you've actually got a clear gearbox and seeing what's happening inside. So what I think I should do now is have a little look what makes this four wheel drive and see if there's any way to actually lock the front up. So having a little look at the, the motherboard, it looks like it comes ready for indicators, headlights, reverse and brake lights, which is kind of nice. So, looking at it now, you do see some of the original similarities with the D12. So you've got the adjustable top, you've got the, I wanna say torsion bar style suspension on it. Yeah. The fact that it's four wheel drive, I don't actually know where to start because with D12, you would just undo these four screws and you would get the motor and gearbox out. But now considering I can sort of see behind the motor right here, there is a shaft 
going towards the front. So I don't know if just undoing these, it will just lift out. lost that screw into the uh, underneath the gearbox that's another little thing I'm pretty sure the standard d12 gearbox is longer yeah I can't lift that I have a strange feeling this screw here Come on, focus camera. Are you focusing on that cable? Right. So I have a strange feeling this little screw here has something to do with it. Or is it from underneath? That looks kind of... Yeah, this has got a longer skid plate on it. So it's definitely got something to do with underneath. screws everywhere just gonna so you pop off in the box but you don't pop off while I try and get you off <laughs> ah, so that's how you access it so yeah that's that looks like how you access your front diff. Oh, let me take these four screws out. Because I'm kind of curious, will there be any metal upgrades for this one? So, it's like, like the standard like the original D12, you could upgrade the rear axle to a metal rear axle. I wonder. Ooh. Ooh, that is spicy looking in there. So we've got some form of reduction. Oh, let's say reduction. That is interesting. I just thought it was a straight gear straight to it. But no. Hmm. That is odd. <laughs> at least it's well greased. I can tell you that much from looking at it. That is fucking cool, boy. Alright, so that, that kind of goes out the window with sticking just a normal diff into it because that has got that is more complicated than I thought it was going to be so we've had a little look at this and say so it's time for me to put this back together and we'll test the uh, see if a d12 body fits on it so now we've got the chassis fully assembled again I have to put a little side note and this is actually a different rear axle and I did just have a little count of the front diff as well. So I'm not 100% sure whether or not you could just swap. You could just swap one of these axles in. Because that may end up messing up with the gear ratio. So I'll need to find out on that one. But time to answer the biggest question. Does a D12 body fit one of these? 
So I've got a cab and I've got a bed. So if I flip the bed over, you can see where the mounting holes will go for it. Absolutely spot on. I say that and that's the uh, plug is making it a little bit difficult to actually line it up. But to answer the question, the bed does. But the front doesn't. So I've got the D12 cab. You'll see the mounting studs there for it. Mounting studs for the new body are there. So they line up. Actually no, they don't. They're a tad bit too wide. But it ends up leaving it ends up leaving a finger wide gap between there and the wheels don't line up in the arch. So really, really the body wants to be moved a lot further forwards, but then your servo ends up hitting on the tab up here, which means you're gonna have to cut away a bit and make new mounting brackets for it. So I'm hoping that at some point in the future, WPL will release maybe a new uh, interior for the D series when this is moved a bit further forward and the mountain bracket is moved. So you can fit it onto the four wheel drive chassis. If not, because I'm working away from home today, I've got my laptop and I'm gonna mess around and 3D model an adapter. So by the time this video comes out, if I've made it, there will be a link down in the description for my 3D Colts page where you can download it. The other thing is down there will be the links where to buy this one or the two wheel drive one or the pre-runner two wheel drive or the normal looking four wheel drive. So my plan for the four wheel drive chassis, I've already mentioned what I'm gonna do with the two wheel drive and make it into an escort vehicle. My plan is for the four wheel drive one is to make it into a D12 carry, but four wheel drive. Another little side note is knees on new tires. So if you haven't noticed, knees are like little all terrain tires. The only, only downside is they are this, same as the standard D12 rims where it's just solid. They have no, no squid should give to them. So I don't expect the tread on them to last them for long. Look, we've got an extra little guest appeared today. Come here, Ted. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Oh no, you're just going to stick your ass in my face. No, don't stand on my phone. Oh, I know what you want. You want it in the box, don't you? So all I've got to say is like, comment, subscribe. If you feel like purchasing one of these, like I said, there will be a link down in the description below. And you know what? Have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Ted. So if you'd like one of these, the link will be down in the description, like I said. I want to say thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned because there will be a running video of each. Whoa, 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 wait guys, before you turn off. I kind of lied to you. So I lied to you about there being no running footage this video. Well, I kind of went out and shot some. And I thought if I do it as a separate video, that's most likely not gonna be watched. So I've done it all on the four wheel drive one. Cause to be honest, the other chassis is basically just a D12 with a Hilux body on it. This one, this one's kind of special. The next little lie I told you because I didn't actually have the stuff there at the time to do it.
was I took the rear diff apart and counted the teeth. So you can put a straight axle on it without it damaging the gearbox or the front differential. You may notice mine looks a little bit different right now and currently has a very broken front wheel. I decided to put my 3D printed lower A arm on so I actually ended up with more ground clearance on the front compared to the original one where it would come down in a loop here and you would catch. So I'll play you a little bit of running footage off it with the original arms and being unlocked. And now I'll show you some running footage with it with a locked rear diff and the uh, higher ground clearance links. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remake these so they're a bit stronger because as you can tell I kind of had one fail on me and break down where the drill point is. So I'm going to try and make some stronger reinforced ones and stick that up on my 3D cult page as soon as I possibly can. So, I hope you enjoy the running footage and I hope you stay tuned because next week's video, we've got the Suzuki Jimny. So, here we go.